Great! So now we have some knowledge about the displacement maps. Great! Maybe we can try to expand our knowledge a bit more. In this tutorial, I will spend more time in Hypershade in order to set up three or more displacement maps. And we will check how to control their strength on the material node. Okay, so first of all, I will prepare a scene for testing displacement maps and will move to Hypershade in order to show how to connect multiple displacement maps to one material. Okay, so let's start preparing the scene. So let's create the polygon plane. I will just scale it to 10 and we'll move one up axis. So in general, and here will be our testing area. Let's uh, create the lights. So create a simple directional light for this purpose. Great. So right now, what we need to do, I will use the V-Ray. So I will change the rendering engine to V-Ray. Great. And uh, for a plane, as we know, we really need additional attributes in order to render it properly. So I will do, I will add some attributes like uh, displacement quality and displacement control. And for a edge length, select one. And for a subdivisions, 16, it will be more than enough for this uh, tutorial. Great. So we prepared the are set on which we will be rendering and we can now open the Hypershade. In the Hypershade I will create a blend material because this material is pretty universal. I am not stick to the V-Ray Arnold or something like that. I am creating universal material which will be working in V-Ray Arnold or anywhere. Yeah, great. So what we will do we will assign that material definitely to our plane. So just select the blin, middle mouse click and drag on the your object. Great. So what we will do next? We have a material, we have a surface shader. So just before we start digging into that, you need to understand how to expand the nodes. So basically you have this three uh, shapes. Let's close up. And wh when you pressing on them, you can expand this node as you can see. Definitely if it will be from a distance, if you will have a lot of nodes, you can use uh, these buttons, the same buttons. Just select the node and click them. Great. So, how to create a displacement node? I will select the shape uh, surface shader on the displacement mat. I will create, uh, I will press the uh, checkerboard and in the render node, I will create file node. And as you can see, we have displacement node. Cool. So, in general, can just delete this one connection from file node to a displacement. We can delete it at all because uh, I will use displacement maps and I have three of them so I will dra uh, drag them straight away into the hypershade and they will create the file nodes as well. Awesome. So we have three displacement maps. I mean uh, textures in here. Yes, we have displacement maps. So what we need to check first of all, just yes, select the file node and verify that it's a raw alpha is luminance. And uh, this is a tutorial, so I will remove auto generate TX textures. 
it's a really good uh, thing we will talk a little bit later but at this moment i don't want to use and i don't want to have a lot of generated uh, dx files in my in my let's say texture folder because uh, it's like a cache for a faster render but we won't use all features of that while we're doing this tutorial okay so let's check it out uh, color space raw alpha is luminance raw alpha is luminance alpha is luminance and color space raw great so how to connect how to hook up into the displacement map as you can see if i will select the displacement map and i will just middle mouse drag it on the displacement i will connect that it's cool we can try to render it and we have it we have one displacement however we can see that we still have a problem if we will try to hook another one we can stay only with one map and it's a shame so what we can do in this situation we can add additional node it calls uh, plus minus average node so just on your keyboard ta uh, press tab button and type it plus minus average great so what we can do now we can select that plus minus average node and as we were connecting uh, 3d uh, let's say we will connect everything to 3d input not 2d not 1d the 3d so we need to create additional items where to hook up okay so into the 3d okay one two three as you can see we have a three textures so i've created three items definitely you can go much more but we don't need it in this situation if you want to plug in here 20 displacement maps up to you you can plug it and just crash it probably but in, you have such ability to to connect it yeah great so what we will do uh, as you can see we've created in here free and we have them in here free so the zero one 3d zero it will be the first one yeah so out color check the bubble green bubble and connect it okay for a second one out bubble connected third one connected awesome so what i will try to do i will take this output and we'll try to connect to the displacement and as you see it's a grayed out it isn't working oh what should i do i will expand this and i will take the 3d x value or y or z any of it to take the x value and connect it to the displacement great so what we can see right now in our displacement uh, plane you can see that we received all three maps that is so cool isn't it okay so as you can see you can create simple node like a plus minus average and hook up or three or even more displacement maps to specific plane object in one material it's very good however i can see the problem here I cannot control the values how much one or another um, map can impact or uh, let's say stretch the value of the displacement map so let's check this issue and how we can solve it so 
we have this plus minus average which can let's say do the cluster and uh, like the operation in here state sum all these displacements however we need some kind of power node which uh, control the power and um, it will be simple as a multiple multiply divide node so what we will do we will press tab button and we'll type multiply divide okay so what do we have in here if i will add this node after the plus minus average i can okay so just just plug it and uh Rex, wow, plug it in here and uh, in here I will plug minus average to a multiple divide and multiple divide to a displacement map. Great. And if I will select multiple divide, I can control the values. As you can see, it's a full power one yes so we can set probably 0.1 and we will see how this impact our displacement map how it will reduce the values as you can see we can control it like that easy like that so i will select probably half of the displacement map value let's wait and great as you can see we can control it but the problem is that we're controlling all these maps with one with divide now if you want you can control them all separately okay so i will uh, select plus minus average node and connect to the displacement map and let's create for each of the map the node multiple divide so basically we need to connect here one node and that node connect to a plus minus average okay, so i will delete these links to the plus minus average now okay so i will select the tab multiple divide multiply and divide oops control d to duplicate same note so i will connect it whoops wrong one out color to input gray so this one is a as you can see this shape that one it will be some concrete or something like that and that one I don't remember. Okay, so let's hook up. And what do we have in here? As you can see, they all have power of one. So we can play it. In here, it was the uh, biggest uh, uh, shape that I don't remember. It's that one, it's a bigger shape hardest shape on the, on the displacement so okay so let's make it half of a strength for uh, this one probably one quarter and this one point one point point one point one great so let's check this out what do we have right now Cool. So, for example, if we want to increase value only for a, uh, let's say, this wooden uh, cavities or, or 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 how to say it, it's probably it's cavities in, in English. I don't know. 
so it was on the first node so let's increase it one 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 let's check this out we will have more information on this cavities and as you can see you can control it properly yes great so this is it for that uh, tutorial next probably tutorial will be how to optimize it because you can expand it uh, even much more but uh, you know it, it's not efficient great so stay tuned and don't give up keep learning